Hey guys, Dave Russo here. I'm playing Oprah Winfrey on the Book of the Month Club. I'm here with my buddy, uh, <laughs> Paul Not Dizzy, and Dave Barron. They have a brand new book coming out, and I know Red Sox fans are going to love it because they're going to be able to give it to uh, Yankees fans that they don't like. It's a new book called Things That Might Annoy a Yankee Fan. Uh, Paul, Dave, how'd you come up with this? Well, this book's on our website, Things That Might Annoy a Yankee, Things That Might Annoy.com, and it's just a book by two baseball fans, Red Sox fans, about ways to get back at this. Hate, hated evil empire. Where else can and we find it? I know you said on your website, but it's in the Booksmith in Wellesley and Brookline. It's on Amazon. And it's on. It's in Newbury Comics. So it's spreading. Now, earlier, earlier you said to me that uh, that people buy the book not even for themselves. Tell me about this now. They come up to me after the show, and they don't even look inside it. It could be blank pages. They just say, <laughs> "Give me five of them. I, I hate five people in New York. I'm sending them to them." It's, People hate that team that much. I should have made a hardcover one so they could beat them with it first. I mean, what he wanted to do, he wanted, he wanted this to be called things that might castrate a Yankee fan or things that, things that would uh, decapitate a Yankee fan. But we did some marketing research and we figured out that things that might annoy worked a little bit better. Because let's face it, Yankees fans are annoying because they Extremely. always win. We have 26 championships, yeah? How many have in this millennium? That's what I tell people, right? <laughs> Things that might annoy a Yankee fan. I it's love like it. It's like what it says in the book. It's payback time, and payback's a book. <laughs> <laughs> well, this guy here is an actual human being that we, he... Wait, but it's him, right? He modeled. No, is it him? No. Oh, wait, no, it's not him. Sorry, sorry. Appreciate he I know modeled this. for this, and our, and our cartoonist, Mark Boutanis, drew him. And the interesting thing is, he is getting, he's reading the book, he's getting mad. He can't even read. That's how effective <laughs> this book is. <laughs> he was mad. He's still angry. Because well, of the photos. Because <laughs> Mark Potanis is such a good illustrator. It was actually an altruistic part of the book. We have a 12-step program. Wait a minute, program. he just used the word altruistic. Hold on a second, back that up for a second. <laughs> we have a 12-step program. Yankees fans are going to be reading this book. Come on! <laughs> we try to convert a Yankee fan in 12 steps, and we've been told that one of our steps is so good it could have just been a one-step program. Program. Wait, what is that step? That uh, step. You have to is. read the book. You gotta buy the book. <laughs> Come on! And you can get the. Uh, we'll give you the step. The step is Google images of Red Sox reporter Heidi Watney, and that should do it. That should really pretty hey, much that convert should, you. She works for Nesson too. <laughs> she does work for Nesson, <laughs> which is New England Sports Network, <laughs> not the Yes Network, because I say no to the Yes Network. <laughs> I say yes to you, though. Hello, thank you. <laughs> All right, get a camera shot of her. All right. <laughs> Security. It's those late night Bloody Marys. Thank you for turning into that Dirty Watt TV. Check out Paul Nye Dizzy at paulnydizzy.com. You can get the book at things that might annoy a Yankee fan .com. Is that correct? Right, things, things that might annoy .com because there's more coming. There's things that might annoy a Jets fan. There's things that might annoy a Republican. Things that might annoy a Democrat. Things that might annoy a Democrat. Things that yeah. How about just uh, just I, a picture? Uh, I yeah. will cut it back. <laughs> She's in love with me. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs>